Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya 2023. So what are we doing today? We're looking at referencing. It is a critically important subject, especially if you are working in a studio environment. Let me explain. Uh, let's say I created this guy here and I'm working on it and I'm doing texturing and rigging and whatnot. It's all good because it's on my system and I'm the only one working on it and it's okay, right? Thing is though, that in a studio environment, that's not the case because you have a rigging artist working on the rig for this character while at the same time you're working on the texturing and somebody else is doing the grooming, right? How do you get a situation where multiple people can work on the same model at the same time? Well, that's where referencing comes in, right? This model, for example, is on your system. It's on your system and nobody else's, uh, your hard drive, not on a network, nothing like that, right? If you have a reference though, then it will be sitting on a network drive and multiple people will have access to it. Now, once you load in that asset to work on it, you don't load in the actual asset, you load in a reference to that asset, right? Kind of like a, a ghost twin brother or whatever, right? So if you uh, then go in and start working on the textures, once you save out your asset, it will update that model on the network and the textures will be updated as well. And the person doing the rigging will do the same thing. And that will allow you to uh, work at the same time, right? Now, this is not a reference, but how does a reference work? Well, it's easy. Let's uh, go uh, to file a new, let's get rid of this guy. And we're gonna go up here to file and create a reference. Now, we're gonna take any random model that I got going on here and click on reference. Now, that will give us this chair that I used in a previous tutorial. And if you open up the outliner, you will see that every component has a little blue diamond in front of it, telling us that this is a reference, right? So let's say somebody else is blocking out a scene using this chair, right? So he's moving it around, whatnot. At the same time, I'm working on the texture. If I have this texture, then I save out my reference, it will be updated on the network drive and it will be updated for the person working on that scene. That's how that works. Well, that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you got any questions and more importantly, if this is something that you use. I think it's very important that you should, especially if you're gonna be working in an environment where there are more than one person working on something, right? That's it for this a very short video. Nevertheless, hopefully it made sense to you guys and you enjoyed it, right? Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.